so hello guys welcome again so this is the disclaimer so uh, today modified version of uh, this class nico uh, you know gave little bit less uh, pnl uh, in comparison with original class nico strategy this trade was the difference between both the strategies uh, 43 300 put so let's check one by one all the entries so all uh, these three trades are common in original version also while it seems like at uh, 945 uh, ATR condition didn't uh, match on chart around uh, okay around this level at 945 ATR condition didn't match due to which in modified version it didn't take any trade at that time at 945 on put side while the original strategy didn't have any uh, ATR based or any other modifications so it took the trade uh, which you know ultimately became uh, profitable so actually this was the difference between both the strategies PNL today so this is first uh, trade it seems like at uh, 920 only uh, 43500 and it exited at you know uh, with significant loss at you know around 936 so let's check that in this also I think it would be have taken yes at 920 okay so 915 candle many people still has uh, doubts in uh, what actual strategy is so let me you know clear that once again so this previous candle we are talking about this 920 candle so this previous candle 915 candle its low should be below high of the candle which crossed above you know uh, RSI 60 level so as you can see here RSI level is 59 you can check this so on this candle RSI level was 59 and this candle crossed above RSI 60 so even though I have uh, explained this in code explanation video let me try explaining this once again so this is the condition where you know our current bank entity price should be more than this value and mean fetch which candle crossed above RSI 60 level and we want its high value so let's check this on chart also so at 920 current bank nifty value is around uh, this level you know 43 uh, 500 and uh, 43 550 in between them as you can see uh, as soon as 920 candle open here around this level let me mark you exit also the open was around 43 520 so let me mark that also 43 520 opening of this 920 candle this is the 920 candle so and which was the candle which broken the RSI on upside so as you can see on this candle only we broken the RSI on upside so it's a high we want to fetch so let me uh, mark that also high is 43 523 so high of 915 candle was high of 43 9 43 523 523 which was obviously less than uh, you know I mean greater than uh, this 920 candle opening price now so this condition is uh, you know already fulfilled after this 920 candle opened and went above this high it opened at 43 520 can, uh, price this 920 candle and as soon as it broken the uh, previous candle high of 43 523 our first condition which is this that current bank nifty price should be greater than the high of, of which our candle crossed above 60 level uh, last time this zero fetch is the last time uh, which candle closed you know above the rsi 60 level so this first condition got fulfilled as soon as as soon as this 920 candle opened below this high and went up you know above this high level so if ltb during this 920 time period 920 to 925 time period if bank nifty price is above this high this 915 candle high which crossed above rsi 60 level so uh, during this five minutes if any time any given time you know uh, bank nifty price is above this price our first condition will you know uh, be true so let's check our second condition what's the second condition second condition is previous candle low should be below whichever candle cross above uh, you know RSI 60 it's high so here it's obvious right this candle is uh, 
only candle which you know last time crossed bar is i60 so it's low would be obviously you know lower than this high isn't it obvious so this is the high this is the low and this is the candle on which rsi crossed above 60 so it's obvious that its low would be you know uh, less than this uh, high same candle high so i guess this is also clear and another thing is all the three moving averages should be below previous candle close so as we can see here at 920 time this is our previous candle so all the three moving averages were below the close of this 920 uh, i mean 915 candle which is our trigger candle by the way so this is also clear i guess another thing is uh, the previous candle rsi should be greater than 60 so as we know that uh, this is the previous candle at 920 it already crossed above rsi 16 rsi was around the 75 level on uh, uh, this candle closing basis so it's greater than rsi 60 also and also any call and any put you know entry uh, or we can say any call and put active trades are not uh, present right now so that's why that's why it took the entry so in same way put side also similar things like for example this candle crossed below rsi 40 as we can see here this candle closed below rsi 40 so you need to mark its low while while uh, for buying side we are marking its high of the trigger candle so this is our trigger candle remember whichever candle crossed below rsi 40 for selling side so you need to mark the low of this candle now for selling side entry we want that uh, when our sma condition also become true like any candle closes below all the three sms then ltp should be below this low right so current price of bank nifty should be below this low then only we will take sell side entry so that was our first condition that ltp should be ltp should be below this low whichever candle cross below rsi 40 then we need to check previous candle high should be greater than this trigger candle low so this is our trigger candle and previous candle high should be greater than so if our entry satisfies here okay if our entry candle is this so we need to check its high is greater than this trigger candle low if yes then whenever bank nifty price go below this low uh, i am explaining this again because many people have doubt that how this strategy is working we don't know so suppose this is our trigger candle let me zoom a little bit so that you guys can get a clear idea what i want to talk about so this is our trigger candle right this is its trigger candles high this is the trigger candle low if we are talking about uh, entry on this candle suppose right then what we need this is our minus one candle that is a previous candle and this is our trigger candle the value when candle as we can say so we need to check that if previous candle high this is the previous candle high whether it was above the our trigger candle low or not yes here it's true right that the previous candle high was above this low which is trigger candle low which broke below rsi 40 so that is true another thing is whether ltp the current uh, bank nifty price is below this trigger candle low or not so that is also true so another thing whether previous candle close was below all the three moving averages or not that is also true now it will check whether rsi is below 40 or not on this candle rsi is below 40 or not yes that is also true then it will check as we are uh, you know uh, we want to trade on put side whether any active put or call trade is there no so then we are good to go you know so in this way you need to check all the uh, parameters i am explaining this again and again because many people still has doubts that how its entries are being calculated so they uh, didn't understand many entries so this thing you need to know right if again uh, uh, you guys have any doubt you can you know ask me anytime i'll again try to explain these uh, things so yes so our first entry took at 920 like on uh, both the side on original as well as modified version and it exited at 936 so let's you know check the atr and all the stuff so atr at 915 was at 46 and our sl would be the lowest low value whenever rsi crossed above this the lowest low value is this this candle so let's mark this 
so this range is around 87 points so obviously below 40 you know 46 into 2.3 obviously this is obvious no need to calculate so that's why it took entry in our modified version also right and then it exited at around 935 yes at 936 so i guess our sl got hit after giving slight profit as you can see on this chart now after that this put side entry at this time was taken in original strategy as uh, we can see at 945 so let's check that yes at 945 as soon as this candle opened our all the criteria fulfilled like previous candle high was above this trigger candle low that also fulfilled got fulfilled and ltb is still below this trigger candle low so that also got fulfilled so that's why uh, we entered as soon as this candle 945 candle opened right so but this uh, in modified version this trade didn't took place so let's check the atr condition so this candle crossed below rsi 40 and we need the highest high value of this time of uh, two level so we need to check these two candles this uh, trigger candle and the previous of the uh, previous candle of the trigger candle so let's check that let me turn on the magnetic mode so that we get exact you know values so this range is 179 and the uh, atr value is 53 so let's make the calculations right now so 53 into 2.3 so range comes to you know uh, 121 so this range the sl range is you know, quite bigger than uh, what we need in our strategy so if uh, in this trade our sl would have got hit then it would be much bigger sl as you know so original strategy took this trend because we didn't have any atr condition in that but it's, it seems like our atr condition working properly right uh, so purpose of this comparison video was not to compare uh, you know to give you guys any strategy like use this ATR version uh, or uh, don't use this original version so the purpose was whether our ATR based condition is working properly or not so I guess it's working properly as we can see now let's check the third trade which is I think common so 1045 trade which is also taken here also modified version oh yes and uh, this trade should have got exited at this level 10 30 level after it found out that previous candle closed was above uh, this SMA 10 so let's check that also whether it exited at 10 30 or not so yes it exited at 10 30 okay and it has given you know one is to one target also here suppose it's open turn off the magnetic mode and let me check the one stone target so yes this was the entry around this level yes, so yes, it has given one stone target also and after that uh, whenever it broke the sma we exited fully so yes uh, 10 45 entry we were checking so yes this is the 10 45 entry and uh, as you can see here rsi crossed below 40 in this candle 10 40 candle and as soon as rsi crossed below 40 uh, we were obviously uh, below all the moving averages at this time and this candle is trigger candle as as well as you know uh, our another uh, condition testing candle also the previous candle high should be above trigger candle low so this is the trigger candle so it's obvious that trigger candle low is below the previous candle high so as soon as this candle closed we took entry at 10 45 and it's obvious right that our sl our uh, sl would be highest high level so it would be uh, this candle high the previous two trigger candle high and our entry point is this open of this 1045 candle so it's 40 points only so it's less than the atr also so no need to check this so and ultimately this gave very good profit as you can see first lot got booked very early and uh, it's still showing that previous thing yes the first lot got booked very early due to one to one uh, you know risk reward ratio because risk was very small so reward is also very small here and another lot got booked back after the this candle uh, 1240 candle closed above sma 10 as you can see so this was the uh, you know major profit chunk in this and after that uh, last trade which is uh, you know taken at 155 so let's check that also here also it seems like it was taken at 155 
as you all know this is option buying strategy right uh, if you feel that uh, profit is good enough then you know you can add some discretion also if you are uh, good in technical analysis and chart trading then only i would suggest that otherwise don't do that let the algorithm run one more thing is uh, after giving this uh, profit in orientation strategy it was more i guess so you can set any uh, you know pnl based exit also like uh, this is the profit limit uh, if it reaches and i would exit this is the loss limit that also you can do uh, this is option buying right uh, it can give you multifold profit also but you have to wait very long so you need to decide whether you want uh, many small small profits or you want to wait for uh, that uh, you know big big days and you know that will give you multifold profits so but stick to any one strategy only like if you want that multifold multifold profits then uh, stick to that and bear the small small losses in between don't you know interchange uh, like first you are going with multiple uh, profits and after that uh, if you are not getting for um, so many days then you are shifting to the small uh, profit bookings and uh, then you found out that uh, your day was gone which would have given you you know a uh, very bigger profit after waiting so much days so you know stick to any one strategy like if you want to book small profits stick to that if you want to wait for uh, the big profit day so do that and you know book small small losses in option buying you have to decide uh, between both of them you can't you know go with both of them you have to decide any one strategy between them so it's up to you uh, your psychology your mindset uh, yes we are talking about we are talking about this 155 trade so seems like yes this can be closed above all the moving averages and uh, which was our trigger candle so which you know crossed the rsi 60 though uh, which was this i guess yes 1340 candle so this was its high this candle is our trigger candle right and this candle closed above all the moving averages i guess uh, this candle closed above all the moving averages and its low was obviously less than trigger candle high and after going down uh, to trigger candle high as soon as ltp went above this high we would buy right so after closing of this candle after closing of this candle we will buy as soon as this candle opens Are you getting me i guess so so that's why our entry is at 1355 because uh, in previous candle all the criteria match right for entry set 155 or entry satisfied and after that it went uh, you know a little bit upside and then it gave losses because uh, this candle you know went below our sl level so at i think 14 after 1420 we booked our sl yes 222 we booked our sl so this is it guys mm. in this comparison video also i again tried to you know give you some explanation regarding this strategy i am making uh, this comparison videos so don't think that i am promoting this strategy you know uh, more than other strategies rather take this as educational video method video that if you want to make this kind of strategies how you can make in trade run so uh, and make your own strategies because if you are working in stock market for uh, you know more than 1 2 years 3 years then uh, i think You, you must have you know found your psychology and uh, the strategy which is suitable with your nature so you know, uh, try to make that better and uh, the trader have provided you a good platform to make algo without coding and uh, that will insert you more discipline also if you want to do discretionary also sometimes so that's it guys for today's video thank you see you next video